Welcome to this week's edition of MTA Queensland's Industry Newsletter. This week's newsletter contains a range of information. Of particular interest is an industry day we'll be calling with our panel and paint colleagues, which is really about bringing the industry together to identify the top priorities that require resolution in that industry. Please have a look and we'd love to get statewide representation. It's a real exciting opportunity. I'm looking forward to it. But in other news, late last week, our phones started to ring off the hook as members started to call in about real concerns about vehicle recalls. So our used car dealers, our representatives from the hire car industry, were all suddenly experiencing challenges around vehicle recalls. Essentially, the PPSR website was publishing a new range of data similar to the airbag data of, in terms of history, but these were a range of recalls under the term safety recall, but they were voluntary recalls. What did this mean? The implication was overnight, car dealer, dealers were suddenly caught with vehicles that didn't have recall notices and then did with the risk that finance companies wouldn't finance, finance those vehicles until the recall notices were resolved. Then we started to engage with automotive new car deal de dealers. And of course, some of these recalls had already been fixed, hadn't been recorded. Cut a long story short, this sent alarm bells across the industry. MTA Queensland engaged with our national colleagues to identify the problem. And interestingly, it was far more exacerbated in Queensland and elsewhere. That didn't matter. We then started engaging with the financial security authorities to say, this is a problem with our industry. I'm pleased to say they were very responsive to that. In fact, they were surprised at the real impact these sorts of changes without notice and without consultation would have on the entire range of our industry, new dealers, used car detailers, hire cars, and of course, all of the servicing trying to get these things fixed. I'm pleased to report the Australian Financial Security Authority has agreed that they're going to be removing that data from next week, from about Wednesday of next week. Now, a number of approval mechanisms still have to be gone through, but they're certainly comfortable with us saying to you they're expecting that will be removed from next week. What that's a sign of is how industry can work together. If we weren't alerted to it, and in Queensland, we're proud that we are close to members. So members feel confident to pick up the phone. My phone was ringing, our phones were ringing here. That's a real pleasing part of our industry. First call, you think, mm, that can't be that big. It very quickly became a big issue. I'm really pleased to show that we were able to certainly motivate our colleagues interstate to start engaging on the issue, but we went direct to the registering authorities. Looks like a win. I'm re really pleased to report it. My message to you and my message to people who see this who aren't members, there is a reason to be a part of an association. We're only as strong as your advocacy. We're only as strong as our relationships with you. But when we do come together, we can begin to make changes. See you next week.